In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this natural glam makeup look. So natural glam is pretty much exactly how it sounds. It's still a glamorous makeup look where you're applying like full coverage foundations and concealers. You're still using eyeshadow and lashes and filling in your brows and you've got lipstick on. So it's like the works, like you still have a lot of makeup, but your color choices are still all part of like a natural uh, family. So you're picking um, neutral browns, neutral creams, nude lips. So everything is kind of a part of that natural toned um, color family, but you're still wearing quite a bit of makeup. So this look is going to be a little bit more time consuming and require a little bit more effort than the other looks that I have on my channel, but it is glamorous. So if you want to be a little bit extra while still looking pretty natural, then I will show you how to do that. Hi, my name is Karina. I've been a makeup artist for over five years. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I like to focus my looks on natural and wearable makeup for young professional women. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then please subscribe. With glam makeup, when you are going to do a little bit more of a medium to full coverage foundation and heavier concealer and, and things like that, I find that it's even more important that your skin is prepped well. Otherwise, you will start to get that cakey looking makeup. So I used the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask and I just exfoliated my skin with that quickly because it was feeling a little bit dull and I did need to exfoliate it. Okay, I'm going to start with my eyes first just because I will be applying a little bit more shadow than I normally do. I don't want any dropout. So I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer which is like a medium to full coverage concealer and it dries matte and it works wonderful for eye primer. And just make sure you're really blending that in and using a really thin layer of it otherwise it will get a little bit cakey and your shadow will crease. For the eye look today I'm just going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes Palette. I'm going to start with the color Seashell which is this lighter one on the end here and then just taking a fluffy blending brush the MAC 217 I have just dipping it into that and we're going to start into the crease and up onto the brow bone and then just stop it right before you get up to the brow. Just adds a little bit of warmth to the eye for now and it's a transition shade so when we go in with every other color it will help all the other darker shades blend in more seamlessly. I have prominent brow bones so I take this pretty much right up until the brow. I don't take it right into my brow so there is a small gap right here but I go up pretty high because it is just a light transition shade so it's not going to look dorky but it really helps with blending all my other shadows. Then I'm going to go in with the slightly darker shade called Nude, it's this one right here and I'm going to keep that one a little bit lower down so right in my crease here and onto the outer corner and also kind of wing that out a little bit as well. Before I go too much farther with the darker shade, I'm going to take the color Swan, which is the lightest matte shade in the palette, and I'm going to sweep that right over my lids and into the inner corner, because I want to keep the center of my eye bright. And if I lay it down now, I will kind of know where to kind of keep the brown away. Then I'm going to go in with something a little bit deeper, so let's go in with Cocoa. I'm just going to use this palette for the entire look. So taking Cocoa, and then I do have a smaller blending brush which makes it a little bit easier for that precision work. Um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH40. And then I'm keeping this right on the very outer corner, so I'm kind of creating that V. And also pulling it up and out. Then I'm going to go even deeper and take the the color truffle which is the darkest brown in the palette and just deepen that V out even more. And then I just take the other brush, the fluffy brush that I was working with to really blend everything together. Then I go in with that really light shadow swan and I will stamp that cream color right back over top of the center of my lid and blend it out up and out into the browns just to kind of re-brighten up that center area of my eye. So this is kind of where we're at so far. Um, the beauty of doing your makeup this way is that you can just clean up the edges before you do the rest of the makeup so I'm not worried about the under eye or anything like that. 
but I think just to kind of warm this look up a little bit, I'm gonna go in with Warm Rose. Just like a little bit of a blushy kind of brown tone shade. Comes across as more blush on camera here, but I'm um, just picking a little bit of that up with my fluffy MAC brush and just kind of putting it right into the crease just to warm everything up and make it a little bit more romantic feeling. I just blend it right over top of all of those browns that I was already working on and it just warms everything up nicely. So I just kind of keep reassessing and building as I go. Keep looking at yourself in the mirror and seeing what you need to add or blend or what you need more of. Before I clean everything up, I just like to take a fluffy clean brush and kind of go over the edges so that they are seamless and not uh, just so the edges are really blended out. Then I'm just going to grab a Q-tip and my micellar water and just really quickly clean up the edges. For skin, because I want it to be still like dewy and glowy looking, even though I am using more of a medium to full coverage foundation, I'm going to go in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And I'm just going to dab that onto my cheeks. Her foundation, I use the Born This Way foundation and I just uh, mixed it on the back of my hand and really worked in layers to put it on my skin. Um, so like I said, anytime I'm using something other than light coverage, then I really work to uh, blend in layers. So go in with the first layer, take your time blending, and then go in with another layer wherever you need the extra coverage. I'm going to use the same Pro Longwear Concealer. I mixed NW25 and NW20 and I'll just do my under eyes with that as well as any blemishes I have on my face. Before I set everything, I'm going to use the Fenty Cream Bronzer in Macchiato and just warm up my skin a little bit. And then I'm just going to take a really small fluffy brush. This is the JH09 and I have the Laura Mercier powder. Just dip it a little bit of that and set where I kind of need to around my face. So just under my eyes, around my nose and the center of my face and forehead. And then I have the Morphe sponge that I just dipped into the same powder and I am going to carve out my cheekbones a little bit just because it is more of the glam look. I want it to be really clean and sharp looking. For glam looks, I really like to have like a sharp, sharp contour and the best product for contour is this Kevin Aquan, um, the sculpting powder in medium and it's just like a kind of cool toned brown, which is what you want for contouring. So I have a tapered highlighter brush. I'm just going to dip that into this contour powder, kind of tap it off a little bit and then I'm just going to go into my contour area right where my ear starts and work my way down just to kind of deepen that contour up a little bit more. While we wait for that to set, I'm going to move back to the eyes. I'm using the MAC 239. It's this flat shader brush and I'm just going to dip into the color Nude and sweep that back and forth under my eye and connect it back up to the top. Then I'm going to take the fluffier brush, I wiped off the dark brown from that one, and I'm dipping it into Warm Rose again, which is this pinkier, rosy shade, and I'm just going to bring that into my under eye as well, just to make everything look cohesive. For the inner corner, I'm going to stick to that matte shade Swan, and then because it is a glam look, I'm going to do winged liner, and I'm just using the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner in Black. Mascara. I'm just going in with one thin coat because I'm going to do lashes. In keeping with that kind of cat eye effect or like the slanted wing look that we're going for, I'm just going to cut my lashes in half. The lashes I'm using are still pretty like fluffy and natural looking. They don't have a thick band or anything like that, but I'm still going to snip them right in the middle and then just use the outer corner. I bought these just from Amazon. They're from the brand Kiss and they're called Page Boy. While I wait for that glue to dry, I'm just going to dust off that baking powder. And 
in keeping with a more nude and natural look, I'm going to use the Mineralized Blush by MAC called Humor Me. And I'm going to bring that just up into my temples a little bit. So see how it just brings life to your skin, but it's not like pink or peach or any sort of color. It's just nude and beautiful and you can even bring that kind of into your brow a little bit, into the shadows. I'm going to fill in my beauty mark with that NYX um, brow marker. Any brow marker will do. And then nothing's more glam than Charlotte Tilbury. I'm using her Flawless Filter, um, the Hollywood, Hollywood Filter in Medium. And that's just going to give me a super, super like dewy look on my cheekbone without being like a sparkle. It's very glamorous. This product is expensive, but it just is so nice. I really like it. When this runs out, I'm definitely buying another one. Yeah, so see how it just kind of gives me that luminosity. Last but not least, lips. I'm going to line my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. And then I, I'm going to use this NARS lipstick in Barbara. And it's just a really pretty pink nude. Okay, so this lip color is really pretty, but I think I'm just going to make it a little bit more like nudey looking instead of as pink as it is. So I have the matte lipstick by Morphe in Honey, and I'm just going to throw that on top. It's a little bit more of like a nudie color. Oh yeah, and I forgot about my eyebrows. Um, I'm just going to very, very lightly fill them in with just a NYX brow pencil. But I just got them microbladed like five or six days ago, so they're just coming out of healing. Like they're pretty much healed, but not quite. Um, so I'm going to fill them in just a little bit, but not much. So this is my version of a natural glam look. I love this look because I kept the eyes all matte so I don't have like shimmer going on on the eyes, shimmer on my face, shimmer on the lips. As you can see I still used a lot of makeup but all the colors are still neutral toned. I really like this palette, it was fun to experiment with. I use it for every day as well but I just will use like one or two shades to contour my eye out a little bit but anyway. Please like my video if you liked it and definitely subscribe if you're a young professional woman and you like those more natural kind of wearable looks because that's what I love and that's what I love teaching. So subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!